Hi, this is Code Practices with InfoPulse Experts. Today, we are deep dive into the playwright structure. But I'm already aware of the page fixture. Why do I need some tricky wiki details? You might ask. For the vast majority of test scenarios, you do not need more details indeed. But I want you to be aware of all the features you can get. In the root, we've got the web browser object containing a list of browser contexts. The PyTest Playwright plugin provides the corresponding fixture with the session scope. Context is a way to operate multiple independent browser sessions, and it contains a list of pages. So, for instance, if you log into the tested application during the test, the session cookies will be stored within the same context, and in case you need to open another page, you do not have to log in the second time. But if you intentionally want to log in with two different users, you can create two independent contexts like private browsing mode, and use both simultaneously. If you enable headed mode, you will see every context as a separate browser window. The context can contain one or more pages, which look like browser tabs. The page objects have all expected APIs to work with the web page content. There are corresponding fixtures for the context and the page with the function scope. The page object can contain element locators to let us work with every element independently, as well as iframes, which have the same features as pages. Just to demonstrate how easy it can be to work with different contexts, let's implement the next test case. Use the browser fixture, create two contexts, create two pages in both contexts, and make them navigate to different web resources. I will add the pause to show this to different windows operated at the same time. See? How cool and smooth is that? Hope you are enjoying this video and discovering new features. Hit the subscribe button so as to not miss new episodes. Also, your likes and comments are welcomed and appreciated. Be safe and support Ukraine.